G'day guys, back with another video, another GQ video, fixing, building, whatever else it is in between. So today, uh, it is a long weekend, can't go away, so I'm just trying to get everything done that I can before we can actually go back camping. So as last week I uh, set up some rear drawers and I fixed them in the car, today I am uh, re-looking at my fuel system. My fuel system's been playing up, found out one of the solenoids was stuck. So what it was actually doing, it was feeding my sub tank with fuel. So when I had the main tank switched on, uh, obviously had a little gap in between where it should be blocked off for the solenoid and it was feeding fuel back into the into my sub tank. I was draining fuel out, wondering where it was disappearing to, but it was actually filling up my sub tank. So it was actually really leaning off the car when it was idling and running. Not the best thing. So I finally put them back in. Um, today I was just looking at some uh, the drawers and the carpet, I noticed that the carpet's peeling off um, and also the rear doors, uh, they've, they've had some uh, wear and tear and I'm a bit overlooking at them, they're a bit how you going and haggard so it's time to change them up. So I've pulled this door skin off, I'm going to use that as a template, um, I've got some spare steel out the back, I'm going to uh, cut out, uh, this is broken, yeah sweet. I'm pretty sure it still works, so I'm just gonna have to try and glue that back in somehow. It stays on there. And then this side, I've just gotta pull it all apart because I noticed the other day when I was uh, rushing. I pulled my towel light wire out. Sweet. So I completely ripped that out, so now that doesn't work, so now I've gotta try and fix that up as well as fixing the doors. So most people would actually use a tool to uh, remove this, it's pretty easy, you just get a screwdriver, you sort of jam it in between where the little ridge is, and you just push it back and it pops out. But anyway, I'm not really using them again, I'm going to probably use uh, tech, some tech screws or some kind of nice screw head and screw it in because uh, it's going to be steel so it might be a little bit heavy. And I don't think it'll last with these plastic clips. Last one, that's it, door cut out, so we're going to use this as a template like I said. They're definitely not going back in the car. I'm pretty sure I used them for the trailer, uh, I made some steel ones. I was just sick of looking at them, every time I open the drawer, they seem to get jammed on the door or they, they rip most of that vinyl off and they just look disgusting. See, this is the things that you shouldn't throw away. So like these are some old, I think it might be some power cables for a light bar. I need some wire, like this is perfect one. Should just be using this. Never throw away stuff that you might need. It always comes in handy. Putting wire through this is probably the worst thing ever. So, if you've got a coat hanger, good idea to just sort of tape it up, tape the wires up as best as you can because I know every time you pulled it through, it seemed to just uh, slide off. But I finally got it through, pain in the ass. I'm gonna have to pull the tail light off by the look of it. Check it. And then pull the wire through underneath like I have done with this. So yeah, put a light bar there. So at least then I'll have a solid wire and this door 
can open whenever I feel like it and I don't have to disconnect it. So lucky enough I had some steel left over from the trailer. Wow, this is really dark. There we go, a better. So yeah, had some steel left over from the trailer. Um, I am going to be using the plasma. So yeah, going to be using this plasma. Uh, it's like, it just blows out air and uh, shall be able to cut this without using the grinder. It's so much easier than uh, using the grinder. These are the two rear panels off the GQ. I've just measured them up and drawn them up. Should be able to cut that out, should be able to cut that in, them out and hopefully I can just screw it back in and that's it. Um, may try and get some stickers to, um, to stick a bomb it and uh, see how we go from there. As usual, Melbourne weather, it's now raining, but lucky enough, I closed everything up. Ugh. Oh no, it's around the wrong way. <laughs> that came pretty good. Yeah, came up alright. So, last piece is cut out. This is getting down to the set door and voila, we have one side completely completed, I should say. Can't spit my words out. So I'm using the existing door handle, lever, and I've still got the rear speakers in. I think that came out pretty sweet. Pretty keen to see what this one comes out like. Um, I am considering doing what I've done with the trailer, um, getting like a piece of square I think I have left over with some hinges and make it so when I have a barbecue I can put it on the back or just have my butane on the back so then I can use the door as a little table as uh, sometimes this year if we are allowed to go back out I'm considering um, not taking the trailer doing some, uh, some solid camping with the swag so this might be a good idea because I'm not going to be bringing a table and that could be a pretty good table there you go DIY panels so far so good, uh, long weekend, I've got a heap of plans ready for the car, uh, these were uh, just li literally, these were just literally a couple of little things I could do for today, but yeah, I hope uh, these help someone out, um, for next time if they ever want to do something like this, it's pretty simple, I'm even considering doing my main doors, um, I know they are on their way out, so if I have some more steel left over then yeah definitely but I think this cost me maybe 50 bucks in steel and I think I had already had the the screws here you can just use tech screws but I found some uh, some black bolts that were laying around but yeah pretty cool I'm happy with that so as you probably would know whoever's following me on my Instagram GQ underscore existence um, I posted up I guess a photo showing a, a drawing of my car. Pretty exciting stuff coming in. I'm looking at doing merch or clothing brand, a clothing brand. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. So as you can see, I do have the Wampa logo. I normally wear that all the time. That's a, my full drive club uh, page group, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is was the redesign. This is um, 0 0.2 or 2.0, sorry, other way around. Um, 
the club name is called Wampa 4x4 Club. Uh, there's about 15 of us. We're just based in the Mornington Peninsula, just down uh, near Langwarren on Seaford and you know, within those areas, we're all pretty close to each other and uh, we started a club just for driving. So along with my t-shirt brand, um, it's actually not called Wampa 4x4 Club. Um, this is my branding. This is what I'm going to call my brand, I guess. Um, so I've been starting this brand or design of this brand since 2006. I just never sort of got the chance, opportunity to uh, continue with it. So the brand's called Existence. Everything you'll see will be under Existence. So that the GQ, uh, myself, and maybe a bit of Wampa might be under a bit of Existence. So I'll give you a quick rundown on what Existence means to me and why I started the brand. So Existence to me is not just one thing. So most brands, they try and uh, sort of do a niche so it's more like it's just for one specific thing. So four-wheel driving or say motorbike riding or surfing. Um, existence is for not just for one brand, it's for a load of people or a load of uh, interests and groups and so whatever you want to call it. So existence is for you as a person. It's your existence is what you do. It's, it's what your hobbies are. It could be, like I said, it could be motorbike riding, it could be four-wheel driving, it could be anything in between. So existence is, is going to be a brand about everything I just, I just wanted to rank something that would uh incorporate everyone as one big group I like at the moment we're all having this this virus happen and you see groups of people singing in the street or in their houses from their rooftops and and stuff like that see like that's bringing people together and like this existence is the same thing it's your existence and say if there's a group of people and it's your existence as the group you're bringing people together as just one so my first logo will be the K logo, which is Kieran, which is me, Kieran French. That will say creating your existence, one snap and video at a time. So when I started uh, doing photography and videography, my photography thing was called Snapped Photography, um, but I wanted to incorporate existence in it, which is now my Instagram page, if no one knows about it, it's called Snapped underscore existence. That's again, bringing the existence Logan slogan uh, branding across into my Instagram page so that will be one t-shirt so at the moment I'm sort of like eliminating all t-shirts that I wear the next one will be the GQ and the trailer so there's two things there are um, linking together and they'll have a quad and a kangaroo linked side by side which is an Australian kind of thing um, I wanted to try and do for a while but I seem to lack not the knowledge but um, the resources at that time so I just had a lot of things going on through work and trying to get the car ready and whatnot. So it just sort of got stuck in the back burner. And then from there, it would just be an easy logo, which is again, the koala and the kangaroo with the mountains in the background, sort of like bringing across my Wampa, the Wampa 4x4 club page or group um, into that existence as a group and friends, friendship that I uh, made and created along the way through getting into four-wheel driving and motorbike riding and just going out into the bush. So yeah, I'm gonna be dropping some merch or some clothing um, within maybe the next week. I'm just trying to get some ideas of what people would like to see or would even would like to wear. I'm considering doing some more one for four by four clothing. I had a couple of friends just message me asking me about jumpers because I have a glow note in the dark jumper. Good, really good for when we're camping because most of the time you leave your jumper in the sun and when you go out, at night time, you're normally sitting around a fire and when you walk away, you can still see that person. So at least then, if you're wearing that, you don't get lost. Well, you try not to get lost. Looking at doing some more full, full drive apparel and then it will be going, jumping back into the existence stuff. So it will be under the existence brand and that's what I'm hoping to try and create. Trying to create a cool little niche and a brand called existence. Hopefully it goes pretty well, but at the moment, I'm just uh, trialing things out. I've got some designs ready and We'll go from there. So, till next time, uh, I'm assuming you'll be waiting for another video, but I'll see you around.